Welcome back to Math with Marcus. This question comes from that same check-in from 7th grade, and it's about multiplying and dividing rational numbers now. So if you missed the parts about adding and subtracting rational numbers, check out those videos. Now, this one's about uh, multiplying and dividing. So here we've got a negative fraction times a positive fraction. Now I know that um, just a positive times a positive is, is, is a positive. So the opposite of that, I know my answer is going to be negative. So before I even do the problem, I like to fill in the result. I know the product will be negative. All right, now I just go ahead and, and just multiply the fractions like the negative wasn't even there now. Now that I know the answer is going to be negative. Um, I could do 5 times 24 and get that result, and 8 times 11. However, I'm noticing that there is a common factor here. Okay. All right, so um, like I was saying, I noticed that there's a common factor here, um, 8 and 24. I know that um, a factor of 8 is here and a factor of 8 is there. So 8 divided by 8 is 1, 24 divided by 8 is 3. Now I can multiply across and get um, 5 times 3 is 15, 1 times 11 is 11, so negative 15 elevenths. Or if we want to, if we want to make it a, a mixed number, we have negative 1 and 4, oh, and 4 elevenths. Either one of those is, is an acceptable answer. Here we've got um, two mixed numbers being multiplied, two negatives. Now, um, when we have one negative, one negative factor, our, our, um, when we just have one negative, our product will be negative. But when we have two, now we have the opposite of that. So it's going to be positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive. So I know my result is going to be positive. So now I just need to multiply these like I would normally. So to multiply these like normally, I would turn this into a mixed number. Again, I'm forgetting the negatives are even there. I'm ignoring them. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7 thirds. Uh, 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24 fifths. And again, I see that there is a common factor going across. So I'm going to do some cross-canceling. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 24 divided by 3 is 8. Now multiplying across, 7 times 8 is 56. 1 times 5 is 5. So my answer is 56 fifths. So a positive 56 fifths. I don't need to write that there, so just 56 fifths. Or um, 5 goes into 56 11 times with 1 left over. So either of those. So positive 56 fifths. A negative times a negative is a positive result, is a positive product. Here we've got three factors being multiplied. So uh, let's just start here. And a negative 5 two times is a negative 10. So two negative 5s. So that's negative 10. And then negative 10 Negative 4. What the heck is that? Negative 10, negative 4 times? Well, that's just the opposite, right? Negative times a negative is a positive result. So 10 times 4, 40. Positive 40. All right, thanks. Join us for part 2 where we'll do D, E, and F down below.